All right, this is for those of you who have a little bit of a sweet tooth here. Android is coming to the desktop, and we are looking at Android 4 Ice Cream Sandwich right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, Android is coming to the desktop, and here it is. Now, I'm looking at this in a virtual machine, and in order to get this to work properly, you will need to disable mouse integration in VirtualBox, otherwise you may, you're going to have difficulty navigating the screens. Okay, first, you will notice uh, this is the desktop that you are presented with. Uh, it gives you uh, the time, your battery status, actually had the terminal open earlier that's the reason why we're seeing an icon here and then uh, basically you have a back button your home folder and then this shows you your recent documents okay so if we go in here and click on uh, these little boxes here this shows you all of the applications that this comes with and it doesn't have a whole lot but for the small file size that you're downloading on this, uh, that is to be expected. But the thing is, you can get a number of applications from the App Store. Uh, you get a browser, a calculator, calendar, clock, development tools, downloads, uh, email, gallery, global time, Jet Boy game, the Lunar Lander game, messaging, movie studio, music, notes, your contacts, an RSS feeder, search, and then settings. And as we slide the screen here, you also get Snake on a phone, Speech Record, Terminal Emulator, and Voice Styler. And we slide again. Now we get the widgets, an analog clock, bookmarks, calendar, and contacts as well. So you can have an important contact on your, uh, on your uh, main screen. And then, of course, there is email, music, music playlists, photo gallery, power, control, and search notably suited for uh, handheld devices. Okay, now, you can see I've already been into settings before by clicking this button. This shows places that I have already been. Okay, let's have a look at the terminal emulator real quick. All right, and earlier I typed in uname-r, and I'm showing that we are using kernel 3.0.8, Android x86. So uh, this is using a modern kernel, so it should work with most hardware that's most common hardware that is out there. Okay, and then let's go ahead and have a look at the settings dialog as well. Right, and then here is the settings dialog, and everything that you'll need to configure your computer, or Android, I should say, is right here. And uh, you can configure your sound, display, storage, and that sort of thing. You can also uh, synchronize your accounts, there are security settings, and pretty much everything that you will need to uh, configure this is located right here. Personally, I feel this is great for touch pads and mobile devices such as phones but for using on the desktop I'm really not that sure about that because there is a lot of dragging with the mouse and I don't find that to be very intuitive so I would like to know what your impressions on this are so please fill that out in the space below but all in all this does look like a nice operating system but as I say definitely more geared towards tablet type devices and that sort of thing. If you thought this review was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.